left anyway. That's me. It's not the first time I've been in a situation like this, but it's the first time I might not make out alive. Well, I know that's a lie. I know I'm going to make out alive. Not because I'm talking to you now, but because I'm the best. I'm the best at what I do. But this is when I had to make a change. Okay, let's get a few things straight. I don't do drops for a random voice on the phone. I also don't drop packages, just documents, information, small items. The item is small. It's also extremely important and completely confidential. And what makes you think you want to take this job? Same reason anybody has a job. The money. You take this, you won't have to work for it all year. When you take the package, we'll transfer £25,000 into your bank account. On drop of the package, we'll transfer a further £25,000. If you break our arrangement at any point, well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. You look absolutely stunning. Oh, shut up. I'm serious. I've got something very important to ask you, and it's imperative you answer quickly. And what is that? What are you having to eat? That is of great importance to ask. It's of the utmost importance. Go on. Because any minute now, the waiter's going to come back. He's going to hold the bottle of wine in a very special way as he pours it slowly and delicately into our glasses. Then he's going to smile, pre-judging me before asking us five very important words. And what might those be? Are you ready to order? Well, if you stop talking for all of two minutes, I might be able to read the menu. So what about you? What do you do? I am a business manager. What kind of business? My business specialises in development of experimental technologies. At least that's in our sales pitch anyway. Well, this isn't a sales meeting, so what is it that you really do? Essentially, uh, we develop new experimental technologies and produce prototypes, etc. We've just produced a new smartphone app called Incognitus, which protects the identity of the caller. This looks delicious. It really does. Uh, so do you have any family? Brothers? Sisters? Mm. No. Had no sisters or brothers. I was an only child. Didn't know my dad either. And my mum raised me. Me and my mum had to leave home years ago. But that's not a story for tonight. Well, at least you've still got your mum. Not really even got her. Why? Can't give too much away on the first date. I love this time of night. It's not too dark, but dark enough for it to be quiet. You're not going to get all deep and philosophical on me now, are you? <laughs> Try not to. I'm joking. Go on. Why'd you like it? Because it's peaceful. You can be yourself for a little without everyone bothering you. We still have to leave then. <laughs> no, silly. It's even better now. And why's that? Because if I was on my own, I couldn't do this. Thank you. Tonight's been really nice. I could say the same to you. <laughs> no, but seriously, thank you. It's nice to have a change in my life from a normal routine. Well, you're welcome. 
Just a helpful note, though. Yeah. If you thank me every time I do something nice, we're going to have problems. Why? And you don't need to thank me. How many times do I have to tell you I don't work weekends? Sorry, darling, if it said you were dropped somewhere between a phone call with your dear old mother and a date with your boy. How did you know what I was up to? How do you think I know you haven't delivered the package? This is getting too much. Firstly, I don't know your name. Secondly, you know way too much about me. How did you even get my number? My name is Richard. And I got your number from one of your other clients. How do you think businesses grow? Word of mouth. You know what word of mouth is? Gossip. I don't like gossip, I like facts. What's the purpose of this book? So I can give you a fact. I'm getting impatient, darling. So what is the purpose of this call? If you don't deliver the package by tomorrow, then my patience will wear out. know who sent you. I don't really want to know if you're... The fuck have you got me delivering? Confidentiality, remember? That's key. <laughs> well, confidential, I have three dead guys and I freaking teleported. You opened the package. Screw your money and screw your gadget. I'm destroying it. If you dare destroy it, the consequences will be beyond what you can imagine. Try it. I live every single day tortured. I'd like to see you try and hurt me. This doesn't have to be like this. Meet me at Lockwood Pike today at 5 p.m. Well, I already have plans. Cancel them, darling. Can't this is a termination of our agreement, Richard? Danielle, what are you doing here? Wait, why'd you have a gun? I thought you said there'd been an emergency. There has. Something came up at work. I thought you said you were a post lady. What could possibly need a gun for? I said it was a delivery agent. I didn't say why it was I delivered. I'm not understanding this. I think I need to explain something to you. I think you do. I'm a runner. What do you mean a runner? <laughs> I deliver documents. Important documents. Oh, and I'm guessing these documents aren't always legal then? I don't know. I don't ask. I deliver them and then I get paid. So what could possibly require a gun? I delivered a package. I don't normally do this, but it was for a lot of money. And then these guys came after me. They tried to kill me. Are you okay? Just about. I don't you need to leave. I can't. I can't leave you by yourself. You can't do this by yourself. I need to, Adam. I need to get out of this life. You know me. I'm strong. I'm independent. But I'm lost. I need to do this by myself. Okay. Be careful. <laughs> I had you down as so much smarter than this, Danielle. Did you never think to ask why I was here? You... You hired those men to come and kill me! <laughs> no, it's much better than that. What do you mean? Well, you can put a name to a face now, darling. Darling? <laughs> Oh, is, is Adam Richard or... Is Richard Adam? <laughs> How do you think I knew so much about you? Why did you think I was so interested in you? <laughs> For example, we just come up with a new smartphone app called Incognitus, which protects the identity of the caller. The device. It's your device. It's your company's. You developed it. We didn't actually develop it. We, uh, we took inspiration from a developer. It's probably who sent those people to kill you. You know what? I sort of wish they had now. No doubt the little device helped you. It's nifty, isn't it? It's only a prototype, so the range isn't that great, but it's early days still. That's how you knew what I was doing and when I was doing it. Oh, finally the blonde begins to wise up. Why, well, Adam? I actually liked you. That's why. Because it was easy. 
I said I like money. Mm? You know what I like more? Power. Control. It feels so good. Like a puppet on a string, and it was oh so easy to make you dance. What are you going to do? Well, now I've had my fun, I'm going to have to cut the strings. Every last one of them. You said you wanted to find yourself, hmm? You wanted to find out what your purpose was. Well, here it is. You're a daisy pusher. Here. Take it. Please. All right. I mean, I was going to take it anyway, but it won't stop me. I'm, I'm afraid I've said too much. <laughs> it doesn't have to be like this, Adam. Oh, I'm afraid it does, my darling. <laughs> Do not call me darling. I am not your darling. I will never be your darling. You want to kill me? Come on. Do it. Just when this was getting fun, you had to ruin it. Go on, do it. There's nothing left anyway. And that was it. That's when I decided to give up my job. I left it all behind. I left it all with Adam. At the bottom of that hill. <laughs>